everyone, welcome to Learn and Share. We are doing problem solving strategies and this one is make a table. Make a table strategy. Step one, set up a table with headings. Step two, enter the information you know in the table. Step three, look for a pattern in the table. Continue the pattern. Step four, find the answer in the table. Let's use this problem to help us understand the strategy. Dave builds these bridges using toothpicks. If he continues the pattern, how many triangles are needed to build the fourth bridge and the fifth bridge? So here are his bridges that he made. The first one, the second one, and the third one. Do you want to try it yourself? Feel free to pause the video and try it yourself. Do you want to see how I solved it? I solved it in a step-by-step -step way. Let's see it. Dave builds these bridges using toothpicks. So here are his bridges. The first one, the second one, and the third one. If he continues the pattern, how many triangles are needed to build the fourth and the fifth bridge? So you see that like um, he's formed these triangles with toothpicks. So like each of these edges is one toothpick because like he can't bend one toothpick. So that's how he makes the triangles. Step one, set up a table with headings. So here are our, our, our headings. Bridge number and number of triangles. So here's our question we can refer to anytime. Step two, enter the information you know in the table. So we know that he has three bridges, bridge number one, bridge number two, and bridge number three. And then we know the number of triangles, which we can count in here, like one triangle, two triangles, three triangles, are here. Three triangles for bridge number one, five triangles for bridge number two, and seven triangles for bridge number three. Step three, look for a pattern in the table. Continue the pattern. So what pattern can you see here? We find the pattern like the, in the number of triangles. So three plus two equals five. And also five plus two equals seven. So if we apply this rule in the next two bridges, the fourth and fifth, it actually makes sense. So the fourth bridge will have nine triangles and the fifth bridge will have 11 triangles. Step four, find the answer in the table. So we clearly see that the fourth bridge has nine triangles and the fifth bridge has 11 triangles. He needs nine triangles for the fourth bridge and he needs 11 triangles for the fifth bridge. Yay, we solved the problem. Coming up is the fun part, and that is, make your own word problem. Here's a tip, get some objects like boxes, blocks, etc. Try to make some simple patterns with them. Now think how many of those objects will be needed to create complex patterns. Here is mine. I placed coins in five rows. I followed, followed the pattern given below. How many coins would I need for the fifth row? So what are you waiting for? Come on and solve your own word problems.
For more word problems, click the link in the description box below. Hope you liked my video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye.